now. CBS 4 is honoring black history, and this morning we get to highlight Indy's first black female senior pastor at a Baptist church. Yeah, it's big, right? Adrian, Adrian Overton is breaking barriers in the religious community. CBS 4's Eric Pointer has her story. I was elated. I was elated. I was excited. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Eat it. Just flabbergasted, I guess. God is so good. Adrienne Overton says God called her to pursue the route to become a pastor. It was definitely God um, who led me to go through this pastoral route. Um, I was a preacher and initially. She has a long line of pastors in her family, including her father, who was the previous senior pastor. I'm thankful to God. I'm grateful to God for allowing me to be 31. She served as assistant pastor under him. He announced his retirement and Eden appointed me as a uh, pastor uh, by votes. Um, and everyone literally in the church voted for me to become uh, the pastor of our church. After being elected, she learned she wasn't just the first in her family or her church, but the entire city of Indianapolis. We are a part of um, a district. Uh, it's called the Union District, who is uh, um, have a, a plethora of, of diverse Baptist churches. Um, and so I know that from history, there are none. Um, I, and then I just kind of did some research on the web, came to find out that this was huge. With it being a male dominated field, Adrian said she had some female role models to look up to. Now she's hoping to serve as an inspiration to others. I have a child um, who has severe hearing loss. I want her to see that in spite of it, you can be who you need to be. I think it's a great step forward. I honestly can't believe that that hasn't happened uh, yet. Some of her church members believe she's a good fit for the role. The name of Jesus, and they hope she has a positive impact. I hope it does touch other black people in the community, even from young to old, that you can do anything. Just because she's a woman, it doesn't mean that we have to have limited abilities to do things in life. And as a woman, she really shows the way that we can make things happen. Adrian said she couldn't do it without strength from God and the support of her congregation. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Pointer, CBS 4 News. I love that she just wants to carry on and like, yeah, love you it. know, pay it forward to other people too. I love that. Yeah, just pushing out positivity. Yeah, we all need a little of that today, right? We could, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I do.